Okay, so um, I have added the faux stitching to all of the frosting, and I had to remove the frosting that I had put here because it was only to there, and I needed it to be the full length, you know, for it to look like a cake layer. So I fixed that, and I added all my stitching with this glaze marker, which comes from, I'll show you the set, what it looks like. We got these at Joann's. We used our 40% coupon, and so that's what it, that's what it looks like. Okay. So I got the number six from the Sweet Treats cartridge and I cut that number six at two and three quarters and I cut it in half so that it could be in the middle of the cake and then I'm going to add a little bit of orange stickles to the middle of the flame at the end because I always stick my hand in it. And then now I need to add my photos here. There's some pictures of Adrian um, opening his presents. I know somebody must have a picture of us. Somebody took a picture of us with the cake, my cute volcano cake, and I thought it was in my camera. So if you're watching this on Facebook and you were there and you took a picture of us, Nick and Adrian and I, with the cute cake, please let me know because I kind of need a, a layout of that. Event. I can't believe I don't have it in my camera. And then, oops, I didn't stick this down, but it actually stuck to the dimensional. We got some board games. We got this battleship game. If you remember Battleship from when we were little. I never had it as a child, but I thought he would like it, and he is enjoying it very much, and I am too, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we've got the photos on there. And then I've got some balloons that I also cut from Simply, Tr uh, Simply Charmed. I cut out two balloons. I think they're like five inches. And then I'm going to use some wire for the string. And then what I did was I stamped it with a Peachy Keen Everyday Face the large one. So this is going to actually go right. I'm going to tape it to the back. I'll put some tape on the back and then I'm going to curl up the the wire to make it look like you know, a string. And I just colored his eyes and stuff to bring it to life and added some chalk and some little doodle dots there. Okay, so we need another piece of wire. This one's really long. Maybe we can really be fancy with this one. I know, and you're probably wondering how am I going to get that to stay down? And what I do. is I make some two little piercing, make a hole 
on either, it pierced a hole on either side along here. Let's see, how can I explain this and show you? I'm not even sure that you can see this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pierce a couple of holes here, kind of close together. Then what I do is I get another piece of wire and cut it and bend it like that. And then it goes in here. Of course, it would help to attach the balloon here. And take this little pin, it's kind of like a little pin that I made. Put it in the hole. Hold it up because I can hardly see them. I made them pretty small. Okay, so there. And I flip it over to the other side and I fold them down and I add some tape. Like that. Okay, and I will do that again probably here and here and here and it will secure that wire down and I'll do the same thing on the other side but not on camera because that was hair raising all right so we'll go ahead and attach our balloon and I'm gonna zoom out so you can see what I'm doing And then um, with the, I'm not sure the font, I might use Don Juan. I'm going to say I'm six now. So I'm just going to cut out those words, maybe one inch. And I'll show you in the picture on my blog. Um, please do go over to my blog. It's www.cricketology.blogspot.com. And 